Dunn's exotic blue look as he enjoys the bike ride in Hamptons. He has been spending time with his girlfriend Dakota Johnson and kids April 16 and Moses 40 packed in Los Angeles during the COVID-19 pandemic. But Green Martin had an out solo on Wednesday for a bike ride as he escapes LA, enjoy time in the Hamptons. The Copeland frontman looks sporty in a blue athletic look, including a plain tee and baseball cap. He went shoeless for his ride, putting his bare feet straight to the pedals of his black bike. The 43 year old team is looked with black Nike athletic shorts, revealing his thighs and cat and white teeth thrown on his shoulder and hand. Chris seemed to enjoy himself as he was spotted with a big smile on his face while getting in some fresh air. Chris has been in a relationship with Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota since late 2017, confirming the romance early in the following year. Previously, he was married to Winnet Baltrow from 2003 until they conceived and coupled in 2014 and divorced two years later. His ex wife recently opened up about the relationship with Fifty Shades in a candid essay for British first September issue. While confessing they never fully settled into being a couple, the screen star insists the exes will always prioritize their kids as she told the publication. But men, did we love our children? We were close, though we had never fully settled into being a couple. We just didn't quite fit together. There was always a bit of unease and unrest. But men, did we love our children? They said Spears in both interest explain. Despite the fair relationship, the TV and film star said they had always been good friends and shared common interests. The good founder went on to highlight that maintaining a healthy co-parenting relationship with Paramount as she added, we love road trips to the new forest and to the seaside. But most of all, we love our children. The good founder famously left fans confused when she called the show divorce a conscious uncoupling a term originally introduced by author Catherine Woodward Thomas as a five-step program to promote a calmer alternative to amicable divorces. Sharing her thoughts on the term six years on, Woodnet say, I had never heard of the phrase on serious uncoupling. Frankly, the term sounded a bit full of itself, painfully progressive and hard to swallow. It was an idea introduced to us by our therapist, the man who helped us architect our new future. I was intrigued less by the phrase but by the sentiment. Was there a world where we could break up and not lose everything? We would be a family even though we were not a couple?